Hi everyone, my name is Mavi. But you can find me on social media as Mavi Glam. Hey you? Hi. Yeah, Hi, I'm Nikki. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nikki, or Instagram and Twitter as Nikki Tai. Mm -hmm. What is up, everybody? This is Rainy TV, man. Y'all be seeing me on this channel all the time. Everything will be in the description. Hey, y'all already know who he is. Hey, straight into this video, bro. Y'all see the title, man. I ain't Whoa! even gotta say the title. Let's get into it, bro. <laughs> all right. War. Violence. Brutality. Mm. Pillaging. I take all they motherfucking money, nigga. Killing. Watch me what? get this. Not, sniper. not John ja Morant. Oh, John ja Morant. <laughs> Hell yeah! Headshot, baby! Taking booty. Oh, uh, Bulldogs. Oh, this large <laughs> sad. What? Oh. With absolutely <laughs> no amount of seasoning. This was just another no day season in the on the meat. Viking. And on today of this episode of Black Air Force Energy Z, we will not just be diving into one, but four Damn, how did he dive like that? <laughs> it's so motionless out here. Valhalla and walk the halls of the glorious round table. Hey, go. The Vikings, the OG men of society. Let's go. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you can tell, uh, this is not going to be any <laughs> normal looking trial. You're right. Like four <laughs> people. But, uh, we do what we got to do. So we start off with this man waking up in a wheat field and his shawty is calling him from a distance. Hey. So it looks like this is your average run of the mill peaceful looking dude. But uh, Waiting call. <laughs> he wasn't always like this. Cause uh, this man right here is one of the most feared Vikings of all time. Brody was just having a fever dream. Cause this man is just mopping the floor with these niggas. Oh, dog is picking Ooh, up slicing and dicing. Nigga <laughs> said, I'm the hash linking, slash linking, slasher. So, ladies and gentlemen, Damn. this is our first absolute Samurai savage. Jack out this bitch. First of all, you should know bro is a demon just by his name. <laughs> Nigga's name is Thor, but plural. And you're going to start to know something too. Every person that Thor's uh, at Thor. the beginning of their name is a damn demon. But anyways, after Bro just cleared out what? multiple ships with absolutely no effort, this one brave soul right here was like, Yo, I gotta fight this nigga. I can't, I can't go out like no bitch. Bitches don't get let into Valhalla. So Bro ran out of a He's <laughs> scared trying to fight this man. Washed. The dog ended up saying something in his dying breath. The dude said, uh, my, my shorty, I'm sorry. So oh, that was what? Thor's thinking. Thor's was like, hmm, you know shawty. What? maybe this life ain't for me. So while this man is casually thinking in deep thought and gets shot with an arrow and is not phased, this other dude tried to come and kill him. But dude threw him in the water and went from <laughs> Thor to Aquaman. Nigga turned into Jason Momoa and switched verses. I got family values. So dog just straight up dipped and deserted. So 15 years end up passing and this man Thor's is living a peaceful life. Man settled down with his lovely wife. He got a daughter and his peaceful, innocent, unproblematic son named Thorfinn, who will clearly not become a danger to society in his teenage years. He for years. sure will. The name Thorfinn, you got that Thor Thor's in that name. Oh. Thor's has been living a peaceful <laughs> life. Well, uh, the game kind of caught back up to that brother because all these Vikings ended up pulling up to the village and okay. this L man's right here floating. This haircut. head ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 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 So later on, Floki start talking to Thor's. So he starts saying, man, Thor's, listen, man, I knew you was a bitch, but I ain't know you was this much of a bitch. <laughs> Nigga deserted for what? To take care of a family? Wake up on a Sunday morning and get some coaching? <laughs> Nigga thought he could live a peaceful life. Nigga, shut your blockhead ass up. Nigga, what the fuck you want? All right, all right, all right, listen, listen, listen. This blood, uh, we going to war. So, uh, pack your shit and, uh, let's go. That life is behind me now. Man, nigga, fuck your peaceful life and stop being a change a man now. No, he want to change his life. Fuck out of my village. All right, all right, all right. But, uh, you know, this village do look pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. You wouldn't mind it if me and my boys decide to have a little fun and raid this motherfucker. So, yeah, man, that's bad. He's gonna raid this whole country. Milling, bro. Village. Dogs at, yeah, I'm gonna raid your village and you should be happy that we ain't executing <laughs> your ass right now. So, Thor's has to go back to war. And all the 
these. Hey, that nigga, don't he look like Gal though, bro? Gal from Street Gal. Fighter. Oh, he do look like Gal from Gal Street Fighter. from Street Fighter. Hairster. That's how that nigga look. <laughs> look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> they are excited they are going to war. Look at this old ass man. Bro is saying. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, son. It's been 75 long years. No. What? Hell no. Bro. You can't pay me to live back in this time. It got so bad that his own son was ready to go to war. Thor's had to come over to the boys. What the fuck are you doing? Son yeah, got a uh, knife? I'm just getting ready for I know. You start start you early. You no, boy. <laughs> You're too young. You don't have enough testosterone yet. But dad! Boy, listen to me. You have no enemies, boy. Also, you don't have a boy. ounce of hair on your balls yet. What the fuck <laughs> makes you think you're gonna go out there and go to war? This is my bullshit. Fuck you, pop. Boy, where are you Dang, going? Dang, disrespect his dad? <laughs> The French Ooh, stone run. Ass kid. <laughs> so later on, while this man Thor's is on the ship heading out to the war, and Thorfinn's little Bruh. baby ass decide to jump off the ship, they end That's up fun. pulling up in this ravine. So while okay. they're sailing in the ravine, they end up realizing, wait a minute, bro, something is awfully wrong right now. And then this man Thor's ends up realizing, oh shit, we about to get jumped. Hey, bag this hoe up. So then at the top of the ravine, you see these level one bandits and they like, eh, smart little motherfucker. Blood must got spidey senses. <laughs> uh, so, so, the nigga thinks he's smart by going the other way. But who gives a damn fuck them? Drop that shit. So they end up dropping a bunch of debris in the ravine and trapping them in so they can't escape. And the man behind this jumping is none other than one of the goats himself. Look at that goat. The most His eyes. <laughs> goat on this round table. The level 99 bandit himself. This man is a literal human embodiment of a run your pockets. This nigga has robbed so many people. He makes Bonnie and Clyde look like some damn novices. Bro don't even need this nigga to rest for the play. <laughs> to be honest, bro, we played a cool, a cool broke a probably solo Pacific standard himself. So while they pulling up, this man Thor's looks at Thorfinn and says, "Boy, listen to me. You wanted to go to battle so badly, then so be it, little nigga. Cause we about to get active in this hoe." So this man okay. Thor's wasted no time. Dog jumped on their ship and bro said, "Fuck a sword. I only need my fist oh, to be level oh, one NPCs." Oh, Lord, just bust him like that. Arthur, that is the most <laughs> damn man I have seen. And then the other band is like, you never should have come here. But it didn't matter because this nigga Thor's was dragonborn. Bro casually slipped everybody on this ship. Then dog walked over to the next one. Nigga said, Hell no. Poor soul. One person, bro? I don't know. This man's what would you? What would you do? What I would do? I know I would just run because this man built like the rock, honestly. <laughs> I'm not fighting that man. That's would crazy. Would y'all stay on the ship or would y'all jump off? No, I'd try to be friends or something. I can't fight my oh, own no. fights. Oh, oh my god. god. That's a good strategy. <laughs> Come on, smart, you know what I'm saying? I was on your side the whole time. You know, what is you doing? <laughs> you feel me? So as this man Thor continued to put on a clinic of anti doing con this man Bjorn got zooted off the shrooms and started hulking out. Bro was so high off his ass, he didn't even know he was fighting his own team. But this man Thor's was not phased. Bro had his critical art ready. Bro hit him with the shin. Perfect KO to me. Oh, I'm yo. giving that water. <laughs> so after Thor's finished, he straight fight off a cup of that. Level one niggas, he pulled up on Ascalad and was ready for the boss fight. Bro said, I challenge ye to a duel, ho ass nigga. But this man, Ascalad, was like, Man, motherfucker, what the fuck you think this is? A game? My nigga, I just came here to jump your ass. What the fuck you mean, my nigga? Yeah, uh, I don't know if you know him, but, uh, got a blockhead? Floki? Yeah, uh, he contracted me to jump you. That's going on. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, bro, remember when I called that man Floki a <laughs> L-mans? Yeah, bro went behind Thor's back the whole time and was setting him up. But after oh, he set up him up. Oh, man, he set him up, bro. You about to come up and get that nigga now. But that man Thor's had that freak-ass strength. The bro started overpowering him and caught him slipping. So while Thor's got Askeladd locked up, Askeladd start pressing him, bro, saying, well, come on now, motherfucker, go ahead and do it. Kill me, you soft ass nigga. Oh, oh, don't tell me the legendary troll of Yom is a bitch. 
But this man hey, was call him out. No, taking life is for the weak. A true warrior does not need a sword. But this man Askeladd was like, man, hold on. Fuck your philosophy, you weak ass nigga. <laughs> Motherfucker, you really thought I was about to play by the motherfucking rules and follow your bitch ass, pacifist ass, goddamn ideology nigga. Motherfucker, who the fuck you think you is? Gandhi nigga. Man, shit, that's so bad, nigga. <laughs> oh, oh, dang. No. That's messed up. All the arrows. Mm -hmm. Called blood lacking in the trenches. But this man Thor's was such a damn savage. Damn, how is he still what? standing? Standing all standing after that. Up. Bro said, let me oh, flex on these hoes before I die. <laughs> but with the death of a savage, another savage was born that day. One of the most <laughs> demented, the boy. Toxic little it's got a time. Time. Yeah. This is the little That's damn him. demon child was born. Look at how demented he looks. And bro was yelling, I am going to kill you niggas. Hey. I will be the last thing you ever see. <laughs> so over time, Thorfinn just gets exposed to just absolute Oh, savage. you you know he was going to be on Savage. This little nigga had a knife the whole time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you got to fight for your, your pops, though. You got to fight for your father. He just lost his life. By five some weak five arrow, bow years arrow. old with a big knife, you know, I thought he was going to become Jason in his big, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> One day he just watches Askeladd and his crew just pillage an entire village. Then later on that night, Thorfinn tried to sneak him, but he ended up remembering his dad's teachings. Well, I was like, ah, I can't kill this nigga. I'll go out like a bitch another day. He should have killed him right there, though. Yeah. That was his chance. So then earlier that morning, Thorfinn challenges Askeladd to a duel. Bro Got a big like, sword now. Avenge my father. Fight me, old nigga. <laughs> so this man Thorfinn started attacking him, but Askeladd looked oh, at him hell and said, no. Weave. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, he look like Zelda out here? I tell you. <laughs> nah, I ain't even gonna lie. The worst thing that happened to Thorfinn is what these trifling ass niggas did to him after the fight. They looked at him and said, Well, hey, kid, you look kind of hungry. And throws this kid a damn the bone and tells what? him, What? Oh, no. on the bone. On Clean the bone, little nigga. Oh, oh. oh. That is beyond trifling. Yeah. And then Thorfinn runs away and they that's like, messed up. Dang, that's like wow. spitting on somebody. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So after multiple <laughs> ass whoopings from Askeladd, dang, and catching multiple bodies Ooh. as a child, many years Ooh. pass, and Thorfinn is now a fully blown, raged out oh, menace damn. to society. <laughs> so one day they're bro, why they got these Street Fighter characters on this bitch? <laughs> He's looking like King. Fat ass car titan. So Askeladd told Thorfinn, this mouth, this mouth if so you big. bring me the head of a general, I'll give you another duel. So while they fighting this battle, Thorfinn asked this dude, hey, blood, who the enemy general and shit? Oh, yeah, oh, uh, you see the guy with the feather on his head? Enemy spotted. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo, motherfucker. Don't he look like Ken, bro? So this man Thorfinn blitzed <laughs> yeah. to the front <laughs> and jumped all the way to the wall and pulled up on him like, all oh, y'all ugly some bitches is dying today. So bro just starts going on a oh rampage. Oh my, first person <laughs> Yeah, assassin right, right now. Ghost Runner, slice, slice, intestines, <laughs> give me your intestines, <laughs> and makes a mad dash to the leader and decapitates him. Oh, his head is gone. Dang, he his head was in his order. order. Didn't, ah, shit, I need his head. And jumps off and oh, leaves. Right the head. Okay, for one Michael purpose, Phelps. One that man was only jumping so in there. Thorfinn did that. This <laughs> man Askeladd came into the battle while they were holding up the ships and running with nope. these hoes. His whole crew oh. cleared out the entire fortress. Then this after they were strong. done, they robbed the fat nigga. They yes, took <laughs> all of his treasure. And this man Askeladd told him, hey, Askeladd, I appreciate doing business with you, old ass nigga. <laughs> Shit, but, uh, we taking this as a down payment. Then this man Thorfinn jumped on the ship, threw his head at him, and told him, Hey, yo, nigga, <laughs> grab me my fucking fade. So this man Askeladd said, ah, Shit, I right. <laughs> First thing in the morning. So before Askeladd and Thorfinn had their next duel, Askeladd a fight. had to greet his hoes. <laughs> hey, how y'all fine ass ladies doing today? Oh my God, Zaddy, yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all very much. I love y'all too. Big birth, I see your fine ass over there. That strong ass jawline of your big girl. No, that's a man. Sexy ass boo boo. Hey, come on, I got something for y'all. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Show me them tickets if y'all want some new motherfucking okay. ass in this motherfucking nigga.
Hey, Daddy. What? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, that <laughs> He got yeah, happy with uh, them bees. Got ass whooped again. <laughs> oh! Uh, hey. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have yet been introduced to the biggest monstrosity on this trial. Oh, yes. A soul man that embodies the definition of savagery. And would you believe me if I told you that this man was a real person standing at a whopping seven seven the seven seven himself whoa a giant. Held the his head don't even look like it fit look on his body this, fucking body. <laughs> this is pure insanity bro is casually chucking axes and getting quick dang is a monster so this man thorkill defected to fight with the english for money but also the real reason why he left because bro was bored because nobody could fight him so he said i'm just gonna go fight my own people so the l man Spooky himself man. came up to him because he wanted to try to buy him back but while bro was trying to do these negotiations he had to be shitting bricks because look at this man come behind bro right here he is palming oh. his head <laughs> this man thought he was hey what's going on my nigga did you finally come <laughs> to fight me enough with the bullshit you big bastard listen the gang has a message for you surrender now and uh please come back and thy king will pay you double oh man that's no fun uh i think that's a hard pass nigga what be reasonable <laughs> reasonable <laughs> i'll be honest with you my only reason is just have a good fight hell no so tell have your a good king fight. to shove this boulder up his ass <laughs> oh, oh, man, this man. oh man <laughs> hey the king ain't so gonna the come king back to fight sending his forces again <laughs> so to counter their attack this man decided to throw logs. He was throwing a log and, and destroyed their entire Damn. fleet. So this man Thorfinn decided to pull up because Askeladd told him, I'll give you another duel that to go fight shield. Thorkill. But little did Thorfinn know that he was heading to a baptism. So Thorkell told everybody, <laughs> nobody lay hands on the little man. This little strawberry shortcake is mine. So this man Sorry, sure started fighting the boss fight of his life. But I ain't gonna lie, he started off nice. Bo landed a nice little cut. And he had Thorkell like, wow, amazing. You cut me. I haven't been wounded in over a decade. This man is insane. I <laughs> <laughs> like you, little nigga. So Thorfinn ended up stabbing him in the hand. Oh. But it was too good to be true. Okay, the so that's his like, life right there at the bottom. You. And then this is where uh -huh. he just started to get thrashed. He started picking him up and slamming him on the ground repeatedly. Bro, get hey, him. Hey. Hey. special. Oh. Yeah, worse than his father's getting me. Oh. Oh. oh my God, bro. Look at his body. That hoe is dangling. Oh and this man Thorkell was like, <laughs> hey, man. Oh, man. Oh, I, ain't gonna lie. I feel sorry for him, man. I feel sorry for him. I expected more from the little guy. I <laughs> didn't believe in him. I did. I got seven, seven. <laughs> we got, we got, we got beat up worse than his dad did. I ain't gonna lie. Dang. I mean, Dang. he been getting his ass kicked. I, I would left my people behind in a village. That's what I would have done. I would left my people. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's we crazy. But this man Thorfinn ended up cutting off his fingers. But he is not phased. What is this man's pain receptors? Bro just lost two fingers and he is smiling. So Thorfinn ends up leaving and Thorkill starts telling him, Hey, thanks for the fight, little man. Make sure to bring your ass back. So this man Thorkell decided to continue these insane charades. Bro was tired of waiting for them at the bridge, so he went on the attack. Him and his men decided to attack the okay. enemy base, and he decided to hit him with his signature log smash. And he pulls up on Canute, a whole prince, and captures him. What was that man's royal guard doing? But later on, while <laughs> Thorkell and his men are transporting Canute, they end up stopping because Bro's spidey senses started tingling. So this man jumped off the cart grabbed a spear and said oh, let's see you should be hiding right over there oh my god what <laughs> dang 
Kinga. Oh, no. How did oh, he no, see no, that? No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm done, bro. Just go ahead, uh, go ahead, pull that seat up, and uh, have a great day. My guy just basically hit a trick shot. He just grabbed that hoe, randomly shot that <laughs> yeah. bitch, and he got me. <laughs> His accuracy is crazy. So this whole army ends up revealing themselves, and they started telling them, "Yeah, y'all surrounded by two thousand troops. Surrender, full kill, and release my prince and saw Conehead." But this is when bro started getting more insane and the absurdity started to spike. He releases Canute back to the army just so he could fight them and recapture him. And then this man started showing off his A1 instigating skills. He started telling them, so since y'all got the prince back now, y'all wanna start scrapping? I mean, you have nothing to worry about and we are the enemy. Right. What are they scared? Are you pretend they are? Uh, see, uh, you know what they say? Bitches don't get let in the Valhalla. Valhalla, they want to go there. Hey, I ain't pulling up, period. <laughs> That's right, pussies. Bring that ass. So this man started turning into a human meat. Oh, no, no hey. Mm. I'm leaving. Ain't no way I'm coming up. I don't want to smoke. Hey, Jesus, I'm gonna have a terrible Especially time. I'm in the back, I'm running. This. Oh. The Thorkel caught like a honey body kill streak. Askeladd and his men end up third partying. Cause earlier on, okay. this man got intel that they was moving Canute. So after he decapitated the messenger so he could take the prince and get all the reward money, bro sent a whole forest fire, sent Thorfinn in to snag the prince to take his ass to snag the reward money. So after Askeladd pulled off that stunt, they are now on the run from Thorkell because everybody wants to play. Dang, he just These sitting there relaxing. So while Askeladd and his crew are on the run, they end up doing no some way. Uh, inhumane shit. Take for example, they end up raiding this one village in the cold, harsh winter. Now keep in mind, these people are minding their damn business. They just chilling, saying grace, and getting ready to grub. These niggas busting this bitch, sends this lady to the shadow realm. They take all of their food, grab all the villagers, get them together, and look at this poor man. Bro said, please sir, don't, don't, don't take all our food. How are we gonna survive the winter? And Askeladd told them, Man, you'll be fine. Matter of fact, you won't ever have to worry about surviving another winter ever again. Oh. And they killed all of them. Dang, wow. bro, that's, that's so oh. oh, yeah, also, uh, he <laughs> snuck <Pope. laughs> But anyways, later on, Thor Kellen's up catching up. And Dog was wasting no time. He said, you know what? Let me hit another trick shot for my montage. So this man loads up every single bit of testosterone in his body. And shuts that hole and hits a quad. A quad kill. So after Thorkel just pulled off one of the most He's monstrous trick shots of all time, Askeladd's men are done. They don't even want to continue the mission no more. They are turning on him. Them niggas said betrayal. Cause they like, nah, bro, give us the prince because uh, uh we're giving them the Thorkel. So this man Askeladd was like, uh huh. So, so y'all just want to turn on me now, huh? Me, <laughs> big homie Askeladd, huh? Well, you know what? <laughs> Suck my dick. Whoa! So all hell just breaks loose. Oh, Askeladd just starts going wild. Oh. Look at his tomahawk throw. I'm about to blow. So about five minutes passed. <laughs> Askeladd is on his last. I don't know that meme. I know y'all know that meme. But he's still going buck wild. He split this man in. But then they ended up shooting arrows at him. They said, we gonna do you just like we did Thor's. But when they about to kill him, Thorkel ends up pulling up. So Askeladd and his men start trying to reason with Thorkel. But this man wasn't trying to hear any of that. So he went over to Askeladd and said, mm, you look strong. I like you. All righty, I've made my decision. Kill everyone except for Askeladd. So they start fighting everybody, and this bozo right here walks up to Thorkill and says, Wait, please reconsider. But this man handed nope, him an axe not getting and that. said, Here you go. Fight like a man. Don't go outside. And he had this man so shook, he fried his brain.
Well, what the hell? Oh, what? The nigga yeah. is not working up there anymore. So what <laughs> is this getting to his climax? I'd be scared too. Thorfinn blazes into the fray on his Come speed. Come on, Thorfinn. Thor said, I am ready for phase two of this boss fight. So Thorkell decided to bump up his insanity meter to the, the highest. This nigga <laughs> charged the horse. The horse. The horse. No, no, bro. I, I've seen the most from this man. From using logs as weapons, throwing spears and getting collaterals, and now uppercutting Dang. a horse. This man is truly an anomaly to mankind. So all the fighting just stops because everybody wants to witness this duel. This is like a school fight at this point, except nobody has <laughs> their phone out and is recording at terrible ass angles. So they start fighting, and it looks like Thorfinn is maxed out his evading skills. So Thorkill told Thorfinn, well, you got some balls, kid. You must have got that from your father. And this man Thorfinn's like, wait, what the hell you mean by that? Then bro says, oh yeah, uh, I'm your uncle. But what the hell? Oh, what? 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 Oh, pause, bro. What the hell? Oh, oh, bro. What the hell? Oh, oh, this my man's God. head and says, what the pause hell? That. He the uncle? That's crazy. He could have teamed up with that guy to begin with. Yo. Hey, hey, we, we part of the family. I, I don't deserve ass whooping now. You know what I'm saying? We part of the family. You can't beat me now. <laughs> Hey, he loves fighting though, so he don't care about that at all. You see that he like fighting people. He I mean, thrill off fighting people, man. Damn, that's crazy. All right, now y'all best shut the fuck up. Nephew got more balls than y'all. Now come get this pain, nephew. And bruh rips off his coat in this oh, cold ass Like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> so Thorfinn actually started cutting them up. Bro was pulling off a miracle. But it was too good to be true. Cause bro made a smoke screen and picked this nigga to fall hollow. Oh, he bro made him fly like you, Superman. And then look at fall, bro. Oh, Lord. <laughs> But Thorfinn gets up trying to fight again. But Thorkell's like, hey, nephew, check that arm, though. And Bro's arm is doing a negative 90 what? degree angle. So this man Askeladd had to start coaching him up. I said, get your shit together, little nigga. You better not go out let no bitch, boy. So Thorkell continues to go crazy. But Askeladd told Thorfinn, this monster actually has a weak spot, but it'll only show up for a moment. So Thorfinn had to start playing possum to get Thorkell to come up to him to about to finish him off so Asgalab could blind him for just a second for Thorfinn to land a critical hit on this man's chinny chin chin to actually knock him down. And Thorfinn jumps on him and starts to gouge out his eye. This is a fucking Ooh, miracle. Ouch. But then Thorkell's like men started trying to kill him. But Thorkell said, cut that shit out. Don't you dare embarrass me like this. He went up to his second command and said, what the fuck, bro? Why, why, why you do that? And bro said, listen, my nigga, I'm trying to save your legacy. What you think people gonna think when they heard your big ass got knocked down by that little nigga, huh? So yeah, bro, Thorkell had to take his first L in like years. And now we finally get to Askeladd and Thorfinn's last duel. And how did this plan out? Right up. Uh, Thorfinn gets his ass whooped for the 50 millionth time. Bro is the oh. guy. The nigga has He's not changed his flow. This man Askeladd was bored. It was like, damn, little nigga, learn some new moves. I okay, why did Askeladd help Thorfinn though to defeat him? I don't get the point of that. Yeah, just to make him tougher. <laughs> he said he's doing the same. Because he, he basically shined his light to blind him in the weak spot so he'll be able to hit him. So I didn't really get that point. Yeah. can speed run you at this point. So now we get to Askeladd's last hoorah. In the moment that cemented him as one of the greatest menaces to society of all time, this man gets invited to a party by the King of Denmark for helping out Canute. You know what this nigga Askeladd did? Bro, just. Oh, oh. He just hit decapitated the King <laughs> of Denmark and proclaimed that he's the descendant of King Arthur. But I ain't gonna lie, I'll do the same thing. He was talking nasty about his mama. And then he just oh, went on a rampage. He oh. was killing everybody. Bro said, come one, come on, nigga. Playing, uh, Bro said, Game of Thrones, <laughs> I'm about to make the Red Wedding 2.0. So then Canute finally put him down because they had a plan to, you know, take out the king and everything. But obviously this ain't sit well with Thorfinn because that man was pissed. Bro was like, he was my kill, you son, bitch. But that man, Askeladd, <laughs> went out like a damn goat. Man said, live your life, little nigga. Go on a redemption arc or something. And uh, after that, that man Thorfinn went from YB to MLK. Hey, <laughs> stop huh. the violence. Mm. Hey, look at me. I can <laughs> promise you, it's the biggest <laughs> start of life. Look at his hand now. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> that was funny as hell. Hey, <laughs> I was laughing the whole stop time, the man. <laughs> 
I was literally <laughs> laughing the whole dang time, man. What y'all think about that video, though? I'm gonna go on his YouTube channel, and every anime that I missed, I'm just gonna have him sum it up for me. Yeah, he do the best, though. That's why I like how you put this commentary on the video. You might not be an anime fan, but when you watch him, it makes you fall in love with anime. That's why I like Scary mm-hmm. Channel. That was fire. I agree. I agree. Damn, I didn't like anime either until I started watching this. Yeah. <laughs> and the memes. The memes is perfect. The memes and Sparked everything. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but damn. Now, hey, it didn't even seem like 27 minutes, though. It didn't even seem that. Mm-hmm. Right? Like mm-hmm. But, hey, is there anything you guys would like to say about this video or anything? I'm going to start watching anime. From now on. <laughs> hey, already. Got, to be a word. got another anime fan. No cap, man. But, hey, I'm going to leave their links in the description, guys. Y'all go ahead, man. Show them some love on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like. Hit that sub, man. It's the fat red guy, man. I'm signing out. You guys Peace have out, a y'all. wonderful day, man. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>